Hi everybody, so uh, today we're looking at uh, the refine edge um, and kind of around the hair and cutting out and so on. And then we're gonna, gonna be creating a kind of a magazine kind of cover like you can see here and things really. So I've chosen quite a, a difficult image in some ways and an easy image in, other, in others. So in other words, um, when we're kind of doing a more commercial style of photography, we would tend to actually be using quite a plain background to make it easier for any cutouts that are gonna happen. Um, that doesn't mean it's going to be white uh, in the same way as in cinema. It could be a green screen or a blue screen, you know, whichever. So as far as um, the look of this image, it's a very, very heavily kind of um, uh, stylized. So it's a very wide aperture. Um, lots of kind of elements go in to be a problem for us within the kind of the cutting out, predominantly the hair. So kind of when we just kind of zoom out from her, you can see it's quite easy in the cutout as far as the black is concerned. Good definition here in the hair, but if we go in really close, you can see there is absolutely no information going to be in here. It is going to be a bit of an issue. So the last thing I'd want is to actually have a kind of a plain-ish uh, background because we want to disguise some of the kind of the cutting out anyway. So it's kind of common sense, uh, make it easier for yourself a bit. So what we're going to be going through uh, to begin with is, uh, again, going from the raw file. So let's uh, technically, let's just shut this, this one down. We don't need this anymore. And I'm just going to open up my bridge. And then within here, we can see it's an f2.8 image, 120 for second, uh, second ISO 100. Let's um, open this one up. So I'm just going to go into Control R, which opens it up into the ACR. We're working in bridge um, and A and ACR from the new release in 2020. So the first thing you want to do is obviously go in and uh, create the kind of the basics, okay, as far as the fixes are concerned. So if you're unfamiliar with the layout of ACR, basically uh, along the right hand side, we've got all the different kind of um, sections we would have been used, uh, used to in Camera Raw running across the top here. So they're just running down the right hand side. To begin with, we want to go into basics and we want to actually go in and kind of correct the color. So just by picking up the white balance tool, let's kind of just go into the black of the eye and uh, just kind of click into the black and you can see already it's neutralized the whole image. In the same way, I could go into some of the white of the eye and do a very, very similar. That's just gonna cool it down a little bit. Um, I, I actually prefer a slightly warmer and if I wanted to just uh, increase the temperature, of course, I can just actually use the big slider or I can actually use the little slider for the tint and things really. But we're pretty much close. Couple little issues to begin with. Obviously, we've got a, a highlight running here on the top of the actual head, plus, we've got some burn, uh, burnt out information. So, the first things first, let's actually bring the, de uh, the detail back on the whites and the highlights as well. By doing that, obviously, we'll darken the image nat nat naturally. Um, I'm just going to open up the shadow information down this right hand side just a touch more. Um, just to kind of be, bring the information in here as we can now see. And then as far as the overall kind of exposure, we don't need to really touch that at all, okay? Uh, if it is, it's gonna be a very, very uh, small, small amount. Uh, and we're pretty much kind of working in the kind of the basic. I would, however, just go in and add a, a curve and it will usually be the likes of a medium contrast curve that will now affect the image again. So before you kind of final finish uh, in the basics here, you might need to actually apply any kind of settings that you're doing overall to an image before you actually kind of think that it's kind of near to finish. We've got a couple of little spots that we're going to correct. Um, when we get into the likes of Photoshop, um, but obviously you've got this bit of a highlight up here as well that we need to uh, correct with it. Let's just see if we can reduce that highlight down just a little bit more. It's not a lot, so we'll fix that anyway. As far as the makeup and the skin, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good with it and things. Looking throughout the rest of the image, it's pretty good. I think there is a little bit too much dark down this shadow side. So what I'm gonna do is pick up uh, the adjustment brush K on the, key, uh, the keyboard and uh, you can see that some is already being applied here now and let's just go in and just lighten that up just a little bit more let's just go in and add a touch more down here a little bit just down the neck then i'm just going to click on new so that is going to be a new adjust adjustment brush 
opening up just that touch as well. Go into the minus again. This stage, smaller brush. Just going in, resetting the actual exposure now. Bringing back the highlight information just down this nose, just a little bit. And then we can just do that a little bit on the forehead as well. Okie doke. So uh, pretty much uh, we fixed there. Let's just uh, go in once more, hit new, smaller brush again, Mark. And then just gonna wipe that other part of the nose again. Just bring down the high highlights again. Let's try and bring the whites down just a touch. No, it's gonna be too much. So let's just use the, high, the highlight adjustment, bring it down. Okay, so um, whilst, whilst we're here and we're in the adjust, adjustment brush, I may as well go in and just actually brighten those eyes. Just gonna swipe across the eye here, swipe across the eye here, and now basically go in and just adjust them. We'll add the, con add the contrast in at the same point. Add a little bit of texture sharpness by going into the plus. Click in onto uh, the plus once more, and then I'll just go and adjust the lips, shrinking down the brush, and then just changing that exposure just down just a little bit. That's pretty cool. So even before we get into the Photoshop, we want to actually do as much as we can here, as I said. So uh, pretty much there. Let's just go back into E, which is the o overall kind of image. Let's just check we don't need to actually tone that image down. It's pretty okay. And we're gonna open this now in Photoshop. Now I'd usually save this for a commercial image into a TIFF file before I was kind of doing anything else. So with our image open in Photoshop now, um, what we've got to look at is fixing those little things first, first of all. So just the uh, clone stamp tool or the patch tool, whatever is your kind of main way to just zip zap in for now. Let's just get rid of those little ones. Another little part there as well. I'm just gonna use the patch tool on that. In fact, just selecting around it and then basically just moving that up. That's exactly what I'm gonna do in fact with the forehead, um, high, uh, the highlight here. Remember, I'm not really trying to get rid of it all. I'm just looking to actually tone, tone that down. I'm now fiddling, stop it Mark, wanna get on with the demo. Uh, okay, so we've got our basics done, um, softening and everything else, we'll kind of look at that again. But before we do that, I wanna go in and basically cut her out. Now, as is, it's not kind of too essential for us to kind of cha change the background, but uh, again, we wanna kind of get away, away from uh, just the, ba the basics. You know what, before I do anything else, I wanna go back into uh, the raw file and uh, this is a, technically a new raw file. When it comes into Photoshop, it basically adjusts itself. So it's, it's not what we were working on before. It's basically now a, a different file. I'm just gonna lighten that nose up. I think I darkened that just a touch too much, to be honest. So I'm just gonna open that back again. What we're gonna do, the first thing would be is to pick up any of the kind of the selection tools our main trouble is gonna be the hair, but the first thing we've gotta do is the body, and we're gonna do that in the usual kind of uh, double step in uh, the actual uh, image. So just gonna select the mask um, into onion skin as the kind of the priority, 50% here so we can see what we're doing. And then as far as the uh, settings are concerned, you know, we pretty much know what these are. Smooth, uh, smoothing is gonna be adjusting the jagged ed edges, Feather is going to kind of the blur, the contrast is going to sharpen the edges, and obviously the shift edges are either going to contract or expand, expand it. So as far as the first thing, though, we want to select the image, and obviously using the algorithm or Photoshop's own kind of sensei, I think it's called. Um, basically, we're just going to kind of hit on that and just see what it does to begin with. So we know to begin with it's going to be rubbish on the hair. It's going to try but it's not gonna actually do all the little bits that we want. The main concern is we always wanna do it in uh, a minimum of kind of two two steps, one of the body, one of the hair, but some, sometimes we're gonna come in for a, a different part of the body. It might be a kind of mohair jumper or whatever it will be. So uh, let's just kind of look in here, just scroll wheel in, and uh, as far as if we just, uh, let's check it on white for a minute, so we can start to see the edge. It's not bad, bad at all. Uh, it's not really jaggedness, which which is good. Otherwise, we'd have to use that smooth 
uh, kind of option. Um, remember, always try and use these really, really small adjust adjustments instead of big. But to be fair, um, besides the hair, which we know we're going to have a problem with anyway, that subject kind of selection out of here is really good. So in fact, I'm not going to fuss with it anymore. I'm just going to go straight in here and just go into uh, select the layer mask. I'm going to press OK. And when this comes back in, you can see already uh, it's, it's cut out now. So remember, the layer mask is there. Shift to kind of cancel that out. But there's our kind of good cut out, especially good for the magazine. We'll bring this bit of collar back in a minute. But the main thing is going to be is this hair. So the reason that we try, didn't try and do it all at once is that basically um, the select the mask what were and the refine edges it's better to do one thing get that done then go back into it and do it again so in the good old days of photoshop we'd have to do it kind of two or three times in different layers and different areas mass masking them out but uh, here it's as sim simple as double clicking on the uh, mask tool now we're kind of going back to the beginning now all i'm interested in is the actual hair itself so let's just uh, zoom out just a touch Double click on the hand tool. There we go. Picking up the refine edge brush tool. So R is the court shortcut. And then uh, basically all we're gonna do is actually start to actually paint on the areas of the image where we know we need to actually kind of cut in things out. Now, uh, I always kind of like to use a kind of a blonde image as the, um, kind of the demo image um, because obviously it gets a little bit confused what is going in to dark light and what is hair and what is not light uh, compared to other elements where perhaps you're looking at very very dark hair on a white background it's a lot easier to kind of cut out so I'm just as you see dragging around the what refine edge and obviously that's what I'm trying to achieve so I'm still going to continue down here with the hair going to let Photoshop catch up with me as well instead of just trying to do it all in one hit. I'm going to try and do that collar at the same time which we did and um, let's have a look what it's like for a minute so let's have a look on black pretty much it's a pretty good job there you know we can see obviously all the little bits of hair which is going to make it look not like a, a cutout Let's drag down again. I'm just pressing on the space bar when I move, I'm moving around. Let's just expand that edge just a little bit more, see if there is any. Let's do that onion skin again. Yeah, we're pretty much there. So if we just press OK now, um, it already output it on a layer mask, so we've got no real problem with that. If there was a bit of hair up here, um, that we thought that we missed obviously we can click into the mask we could either just double click it go back in and kind of bring it back or if you know there's a certain area that's been lost because of a reason uh, basically B for brush D for default and then basically X to put black on top uh, remember that black hides uh, and white reveals and things okay so the black here it's gone so again X paid that back in again and you've got your hair that you need so we're basically revealing now of what we want there we go all right so we've pretty much done not a bad job um i'd like to soften down the face just a little bit more i'm not not sure if i'm going to be doing that now or in a, a kind of couple a couple of minutes time um usually of course let's just see what it's like on a uh, background for a minute so if just go d for default and then basically fill it with white. That's the control backspace. I'll move it below, and then at least we can see it's not bad at all. It's going to be on a textured background, so let's go and open that up, and uh, let's bring up that texture. Uh, this is just something that uh, just downloaded from the internet. Just going to control T it, just to make it bigger. So you can see already now the hair is really beginning to actually work very, very well with it. And especially because it's a fuzzy background, it would actually show it off more. So I want to soften her just a little bit. So let's just go in and control J, dupl uh, duplicating that layer. 
and we're just going to go into so let's uh, unlink the mask first filter and we're going to blur and we're going to gaussian blur and we're just going to soften that skin just a little bit more so there's no de no detail or very little de detail left in there I'm just going to press ok now I'm just going to go into the screen mode soft soft light possibly let's go into soft light we'll just reduce the opacity down so it's a little bit soft uh, softer in the skin okay um, there it's just gone there okay let's just uh, see what it's like in lighten mode if I prefer it in screen I was close to going screen before but anyway it's nothing wrong in ch changing your mind and then uh, once more I just want to actually go and uh, basically what am I trying to kind of um, uh, make soft or not soft and so on so in this in this point it's B for brush D D for default and then obviously we want to make sure that um, I'm going to exit out of this I'm going to bring back all the sharpness of the hair smaller brush again so as I said I want the sharp uh, the sharpness of the image for the magazine on hindsight probably should have actually softened down the skin before we actually done the uh, other elements but uh, pretty close so let's just go in now and just uh, sharpen those lips let's paint across them sharpen the teeth sharpen the eyes as well we want those pin sharp on the magazine of course All right, pretty good. And so you can see actually on the thumb, uh, the thumbnail there what it's doing. I like to actually bring some harmony across the whole image anyway. So let's just go in and pick up a new layer. We'll just go and choose a color within the image. So a light kind of blonde-ish or yellowish kind of, kind of color up here. And let's just um, uh, control back, uh, backspace let's just put it into a blend mode now okay so what do we want it to do we want to actually just uh, apply it across the whole image do we want to darken the image what are we trying to do well the first the first things first I know all I want is going to be a very very low opacity so it's only going to be around around about nine or ten ten percent no matter what and then what is going to be the uh, right kind of look so over, overlay will do the job just bring all those tones together and then pretty much all I've got to do is actually do the text. So if I'm just uh, coming in, grabbing the text tool, if I just press X to put that yellowy color on top again, I'll just draw a text box across the whole width. I'll just go in here and basically capitals on, just write our hero, and then we'll lower the, he the hero down. I think we can make it a little bit uh, bigger in fact. So let's just go ahead and make that touch bigger. And then I need to add on another um, item just, whoop, I need to add on another letter, which is the plus. Drag that into here. I'm just gonna link those together. And let's bring those down now uh, behind her. And th there, there we go. We pretty much got our magazine cover done um, with that quick cutout of the hair as well. Um, look at an overall kind of image. How long was that? 20 minutes, probably in real time, taking us closer to five to ten minutes tops and things really. Uh, the biggest problem is going to be is to make sure when we're using that refined edges is that we're kind of going in and uh, and ma making sure we do it in that two-step kind of pro uh, the process remember any stage double click into the uh, selection tool and you can go in and refine that edge again with it hope you enjoyed the film see you on the next one bye, -bye.